If your Coleman travel trailer didn't come with a spare tire, you need to watch this video. I'm gonna save you a lot of guesswork and I'm gonna show you where you can find you a spare tire so you don't have to be searching around discount tire, other tire manufacturers looking for a tire and a wheel combination because when I got my Coleman travel trailer, it did come with a spare. What I did is did a little bit of research on my own and came up with a good option that I found on Amazon. Because if you're set on finding a spare tire and wheel for your travel trailer that didn't come with one, check out this video guys. I'm gonna show you exactly where to find one and show you how to go ahead and measure the lugs so you know what lug nut pattern it's gonna be. Guys, if you like these kind of videos, please subscribe to the channel, like the video as well, and let's dive into this. All right guys, let's dive in talking about this tire that I found. And like I said, I found this thing on Amazon. So when I picked up this travel trailer from Camping World, they told me it didn't come with a spare tire. I was a little taken back. I'm like, what do you mean it doesn't come with a spare tire? Because tires go out all the time on trailers, especially like these Coleman's, they come with very cheap tires on them to begin with. So expect to replace those things, I would say relatively quick because you're probably gonna have some bulging and the tread separation and things like that. So uh, you need to have a spare tire. So. I'm gonna do the guesswork for you. This right here is a Coleman 274BH, and a lot of their budget-friendly models don't come with spare tires such as the 17B. There's a couple other models out there in their budget line that don't come with spare tires. I don't understand why. They're like 200 bucks. I don't know why they don't just throw one in. It's kind of ridiculous. But anyway, this right here, the link is in the description box to this wheel and tire setup that I got off Amazon. It was like, I think 140 bucks total. So, you know, a lot cheaper than trying to piece out a wheel from discount tire or another tire manufacturer and a tire to go with it. So one thing right here to look at is, this is an ST21575D14. So the same measurements and everything as the tire that come on this, except for this is a bias ply tire instead of a radial. You can buy a radial, it's got the same uh, wheel except it has it's literally the same wheel that came on the trailer and it comes with a radial tire same size and everything but it's around 200 bucks so I'll leave the link to both of those uh, I just looked at this as being a spare tire to get me to a destination where I can get a new tire put on so I just went ahead and bought the $150 one uh, saved me a lot of money and honestly the tires look pretty much the same so there's not a lot of difference between the bias ply and the radial setup on this tire because let's just face it, it is a, it's an EcoTrail ST. It's a, it's a cheap tire to begin with. So whether it's a bias ply or radial, you know, you're still getting a cheap tire. Uh, so it's gonna serve as a spare and that's what I need it for. But anyway, this is gonna take the guesswork out of finding a spare for your Coleman. I'm gonna show you how to measure your studs just to make sure you're getting the right one. Because if you don't measure it the correct way, then it's gonna make a big difference in ordering the right one. The lug nut pattern on this is a 5x4.5, and that's what you want to look for when you're ordering one, if you don't go with the ones in the description box. Essentially, all you're doing is measuring between the studs on the axle, and I'll show you that right now. In front of the wheel, and what you want to do, and I can put the diagram to this process on the video here, but essentially what you're going to do is take your tape measure, and you're gonna be measuring from the center of each stud. So I got the tape measure in the center of each one, and I'm gonna look on the center of this one over here, and that looks right at two and five eighths. So when we look at two and five eighths on the chart, it ends up being uh, the five by 4.5, and you would do this for whatever trailer you have to measure the studs on. Just keep in mind when you're measuring the studs the way I'm showing you, that is for a five lug wheel. So what that means is it has five studs. The measuring, if it has more than five lugs, is gonna be a little different. But for a five lug wheel, measuring from one to the other, and then using the chart that I'm referencing, that is gonna get you to where you need to be so you can order a wheel for your travel trailer. All right, guys, that's how you do it. Showed you guys how to measure the studs. That way you can order the right wheel for your trailer. Uh, but this video was essentially for how to order a spare tire for your Coleman travel trailer because a lot of times the budget ones don't come with spares. So uh, once again, 
The links to this spare tire is gonna be in the description box. So if you're looking for a Coleman spare tire, this one is gonna fit it just perfect. I've put it on, I've made sure it worked and everything, and it does. So for 150 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong in purchasing one of these for a spare for your Coleman travel trailer. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put those in the comment box below. Once again, the description box is gonna have the link to this. Guys, thanks for watching this video. There's gonna be a lot more camper-related videos out on my channel, so please watch those. And guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching.